Hold on. For the king of the house. For the king. Choo choo. Chugga chugga chugga. Choo choo. Come on. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah. Yo guys, today's video is sponsored by Audible. Audible is celebrating the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter. You can now listen to all the Harry Potter books on Audible, narrated by the sweet, dulcet tones of Jim Dale. Listen to this. The Dark Lord ascending. The two men appeared out of nowhere. You're welcome, ears. Go to audible.com slash hp20 or text hp20 to 500-500. Truth is, I'm obsessed with Harry Potter and I, I think we all need a little more witchcraft and wizardry in our lives. So Audible hooked me up with some other Potter fanatics and, and got us into this like book club thing. It's very exciting. You guys are gonna see it soon. It was pretty amazing. There was butterbeer, there were moments, some tears, mostly laughter. It was just beautiful. Anyway, I got assigned the book The Deathly Hallows, the seventh book, the best book, some might say, and it, it seemed like a perfect opportunity for me to for me to bake a cake. She's six months pregnant, but she looks like she's only two. She's the apple of my eye, the mother of my unborn child. It's Paige Paige! Okay. We're gonna make our Deathly Hollows cake. Are you ready for this? I have never been more ready. Really? I love when we do tasks together. You bake these cakes and they're incredibly uneven. That's not, yeah, that's true. Got some icing, we've got some fondant. You know what I mean? We're real cake people over here, all right? Maybe Just we'll get a real show. It. You're gonna make it into a triangle? I'm gonna oh. try. Well, wait, can we start again? Oh my god, I'm so proud of us. We're really bonding. Your lopsided cakes are cutting beautifully. <laughs> it looks incredible. Oh, that's okay, right? Mm -hmm. Is that okay? How are we looking in the beautiful wizarding world of Harry Potter? The Deathly Hallows, the last book, the best right. book, some might say. You know, it'll be fine. I just think that maybe if they were not lopsided, I think that's maybe why they look a little funky. It's, the truth is, <laughs> I'm a bit lopsided. Wow! I'm thinking a pizza. This is like math class. Math meets home ec. This is a right angle triangle. What is this? What kind of uh, equilateral? Equilateral. All right, well, that our kid good. is gonna be smart. <laughs> this is good practice for when baby pack is like here. Can I, Why do you, do you want to call it baby pack? Well, what is it? Spoiler alert, we don't have a name quite yet for the baby. Do you want to maybe talk that out in front of the people and let them decide what we should name our child? We're open to suggestions. Josh and I don't agree on a lot, but <laughs> I figured that I will probably just have the deciding vote because I'm the one that has to carry it and give birth to it. <laughs> and how well she's carrying it, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> I'm actually wearing like a huge sweatshirt, so. It's probably not doing me any favors. Okay, let's see. Can we, what? You realize that if we don't name our child Drake, David, Dobrik, Koshi, Peck, that people will be upset. This other cake that Josh made? Perfectly level. No, <laughs> even worse. What? I'll show you. The whole thing just cracked. <laughs> it's getting too real, guys. We're months away. We should start frosting this one. Back in the day, I used to treat this as a beverage. Cake or frosting? <laughs> You're really good at YouTube. Yep, I really like to engage the followers. I like you pregnant. Do you like you pregnant? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Pregnancy is cool, but it's also really like, it's really weird. This is like, it's kind of evening out. Yeah, this is dope. Everyone, here's the update. I mean, can we believe this? We have to make sure there's enough for your uneven cakes. One of the little cakes. Mm -hmm. little. You can have it. <sighs> Tastes like 2003. Mm. It's so sweet. <laughs> okay, we're caking. We're oh. Shh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what was like? We're gonna do surgery. We'll just do surgery. If anyone can make this work, it's you. I haven't had the time. I feel like every time I like to read is um, usually at night these days. I just want to go to bed as soon as I hit the sheets. You're really annoying me. Sorry. That's like the most annoying thing. Might be. <laughs> and, <laughs> God. This is called goals. Fun, Relationship goals. Fun fact, Josh is the most annoying chewer on the planet. I don't know how fun that is, but 
is true. This looks incredible. That's my wife. My wife did that. It looks really good, bud. Mother of my child. What if cake was like the equivalent to like energy drinks on the sidelines of sporting events? So you just like cut to a football, like a quarterback waiting for the next play. Like, all right, guys, we're gonna get it on the next one. Go deep next time. I'm done with eating cake. I'm so sorry. Your jaw is like <laughs> popping in my ear. Popping a lot. Hey guys, what are you up to? We're just here celebrating the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter. My beautiful wife's uh, making a cake behind us. And I'm just here for you guys. How was your weekend? This is what we do. You don't watch my YouTube? Can't wait to dig into this thing. Maybe after this, we'll turn this into a cake muff thing with like Jonah and his family. <laughs> Why Jonah and his family? They just are good eaters. They like cake. They enjoy food in the way that I do. Mm. Moving on to the next step. Mm. Moving on to the next step. We're using fondant. So it's like a massive Pop Tart. It's like a big Tootsie Roll. Need it and I want it. Molding in like a ball and just. Make my love fun. This is a workout. Whoa, this looks crazy. Chill, chill. No one said baking was easy. I think this is only a sport for grandmas. It isn't, okay? Do you know what kneading means? No. <laughs> like do this and then like fold it over each other. Right, but it, I'm just trying to separate it a little so it's more like now you know. You're out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> it, it doesn't take much. It smells like a tootsie roll. What about this? Is that a tootsie roll? You're getting flour all over you. Is that, do you know the dance of Tootsie Roll? <laughs> <laughs> Is that not it? Probably. It's really cute when you do it. I imagine the baby inside doing it with you. Like this, Mom! Keep moving. <laughs> I'm sweaty. Let me move this over so I don't inadvertently ruin everything. Just for fun, Paigey, mm -hmm. if you were going to Hogwarts and were being sorted by the sorting hat, which house would you get sorted into? Well, remind me again what the <laughs> No problem. Now, would you get sorted into Gryffindor, house of such beauties as Ron Weasley, uh, Harry Potter, Hermione Granger, a uh, Slytherin, home of Malfoy, evil. Mean, dark, not nice. I would do um, Gryffindor because I've been eating that. But there's two other ones. What are they? Hufflepuff. Oh, that's cute. And Ravenclaw. No, I think I'm gonna stay with Gryffindor. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, kind of the house everyone wants to be a part of. Okay. Hey, hey, doing fondant, doing fondant. We use rulers when we make cakes. We don't mess around. Okay, so the fondant is ready, and we are ready to do the official capping off of our Deathly Hallows symbol. But first, allow me to introduce Harry Potter super fan, one of my bestest friends, an all around great guy, Cameron! Yeah. Yeah. Big fan. Um, guys, Paige and I are mere, like, uh, peasants as far as our Harry Potter knowledge compared to, to the man. It's my one crowning achievement. The god. Well, I've definitely done my research. We told them we listen every day. Yeah, and I'm not embarrassed. Yeah. I'll claim that. Are you able to fall asleep without listening to Harry Potter? I don't know, I've never tried. <laughs> uh, for the past, I don't know, six years, I've listened to it every single night. I'm gonna go ahead and just say the Harry Potter series is the best book series ever. ever. No, I didn't read <laughs> Twilight. <laughs> right, but like, this, The Deathly Hallows, some might say, not just because it's my video, the best book? It's so, it's such a unique book because they're essentially adults, right? In the wizarding community, when you turn 17, you're an adult. You get to use magic outside of school. So this is the first time we're getting to see Harry and Hermione and Ron doing the magic that they're so good at outside of school. No pressure, but if you were to guess what house maybe Peck would be sorted into, no pressure. Well, please Uncle Cameron, don't put me in Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Slytherin out of the running, um, just knowing the two of you. I feel like Slytherins, they're misunderstood, they're, you know, people make snap judgments, <laughs> um, but they work hard, those Slytherins. Well, think. no wizard that ever went bad was was from any other house other than Slytherin. Oh, there were a couple oddballs in Hufflepuff. You trying to front like There's no, zero Hufflepuff bad guys. Is this Funfetti cake? Yeah. Of course. Oh, oh, oh. That's right, he's my best friend, he knows me. Ooh. Ooh, just, ooh. We'll put that Elder Wand on there. Come on, Dumbledore. This, this, Dumb yes! I know things. Till it got stolen by that jerk. Who? Who? I don't want to say his name. Shh. Sorry, sorry. We already got the invisibility cloak. We got the Elder Wand. Yes. Paige, thank God you did this. So what no. made you think that she was qualified for this? The fact that she's baking a human from scratch? That and... Dude, wow. this looks incredible! Oh my. 
Oh my gosh. That's my wife. That's my queen. That's my number one. My leader. My female counterpart. All right, I think we're done. Oh, this is, you're having a full Beyonce moment right now, Paige. Bay? Wow. Queen B? Hold on. Queen P? Oh my, I dropped it. What? Come on, Paigey. Yeah. You outdid yourself. I'm I'm literally reading the comments as we record this, and they're going nuts for you, baby girl. No, everyone's gonna be like, um, it's a little sloppy. Her back <laughs> is like a little. <laughs> Shouldn't the bottom be a little fatter? <laughs> <laughs> it's ruined. <laughs> One side is gonna be really heavy and frosting. We forgot to tell you, Josh baked the cakes uneven. Okay. So wow. To, um, Throw shade. This is your birthday present. <laughs> Thank you. Happy birthday. Good cake, right? It's fantastic. All right, guys. Well, we love you. Cam's gonna go listen to the audiobook. <laughs> On Audible. So Paige has been practicing baking for the baby. Am I right? Yes. <laughs> Not really. I already ate a big piece of it, but. We made this cake. It's very delicious. Let's get some spoons going. What is it? Wait, why did you bring a cake to a pack oh, that house? <laughs> Guys, get I'm spoons. I'm gonna break my, my rule right now. Yes. Here we go. Everyone. Thanks, this is for you. Oh my god. Right? All right. Vardan? Oh my god. Alright, I'm a big cake advocate. Oh. I'm a huge cake advocate. No kidding. <laughs> That's impressive. Not bad, right? I can knock back that entire cake. Let's yeah. talk about it. Break it down. Give me Let the me talk about it. Give, really give, me, give me the play by play. Oh my it's, God. It's, it's like the Mad Men of cakes. She didn't go too sweet. Mm. You know what I mean? It's just the right amount of sweet. It's like a wedding cake. It's like the perfect wedding cake. I like that. It tastes like clouds. Mom, you want to try some? I love yeah. seeing Jason enjoy. Jason's coming out. So Lorraine, don't you love when our little booby enjoys? Hold my hand. I'm having a moment here with you. <laughs> Isn't this fabulous, darling? Jason, you won't regret this, right? I wonder what that would taste like in a chocolate good. version. No. Josh! No, David. Wait, what are you gonna do? You need me to move in with you guys? For the baby. In case the baby is like, you know, she's going to labor. You're not home. Sounds like a good idea. You're shooting a big movie. Sure. In you Poland. You need to be there to be the one to take me to the hospital. And I, I will be the one. Yeah, I don't want you to call an Uber. I'll be the one, my camera will be on so Josh can see it later. 